blue-white fissure. This isn't, this isn't a very good hand against blue-white fissure, but I'm going to keep it. Because it's got two lands and some pressure, so we'll, we'll just keep it. Alright, and it instantly turned into an awesome hand against blue-white fissure. With an up sentinel. Yeah, especially since he's preordaining, presumably to try and get some stuff. Yep. Um, we're just gonna smash with the Nettle Sentinel and play a Garrick's Companion. Basically, he kind of has to go off this turn to really even have a shot. Alright, drawing down the land there is pretty good. Um, <coughs> let's go ahead and bash with these dudes. I'm assuming, I think he has a snap here. That's what he was debating casting last turn. So. If he's just taking the damage, I think I'm gonna let him take it. Actually, maybe I do ground spell here. Hmm. I think I should have uh, gathered courage pre combat. Alright, yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the ground spell. Um. That deals in the most damage. Whoops. And then we'll play play Garrick's Companion. And pass the turn. So now once again he has to fissure off here before to have a win. Yeah, and the fact that he's attacking kinda makes me believe that he does have a he is gonna try and combo off here. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So he plays another Cloud of Fairies and Taps and then casts a Fissure, presumably. <coughs> if he casts a Fissure, then he casts it for three. I guess it bounced all my dudes back to my hand. Buys him another turn, which isn't the worst for me. I wonder what he has in his sideboard for me. Uh, he's got 
dignitaries in his sideboard, but that's pretty much it. And while that would be pretty annoying... Yeah, presumably this is the fissure. I think. Although if it's another snap and a fissure, I'm in pretty rough shape. What's he doing? Maybe it's just a mole drifter? That'd be pretty sweet. Alright, now that's the fissure. Okay. Yeah, and he gets to fissure Garrick's Canyon and the Nell Sentinel. Alright, well, I get to replay him next turn. <coughs> Defensive fissure is not the worst. <sighs> yeah, so we're just gonna play out another a nettle sentinel and, a, and a, another Garrick's companion. So he time walked me. Oh, well, he actually did more than a time walk against me. Alright, so you get Oracle. Not that bad. He gets to chump my stuff, but that's okay. Another land would be a good draw, I think. Well, the Vines is a pretty good draw, too. Um, so I think I'm going to gather Courage using the Nettle Sentinel. Because I'm really just not going to get much more use out of this. So I gather Courage the Nettle Sentinel basically turns off his uh, chumps. And I'm going to attack and see what happens. So that's interesting, he's just straight blocking the Garrick's Companion. Hmm. <coughs> so unfortunately I don't have the double pump spell to kill it, or to kill him. So... I think I'm just gonna go for... let that happen, and then play a Companion or a Young Wolf. Hmm. Yeah. I think that's what happens. So I'll play the young wolf. And then play a companion. And once again I put him in the spot where he has to fissure me to win. Although another glamour post certainly goes far in helping him do what he's trying to do. Yeah, it looks like he's probably going to do the fissure plane again. Evoking a mole drifter leads me to believe he's probably got a ghostly flicker. Yep. <clears throat> I could have just saved a vines and turned off the ghostly flicker, and that's probably what I should have done, actually. Because now I give him outs. Yeah, that was a misplay by me. 
Ship has played a companion and left up vines of basswood to turn off ghostly flicker. So I might have just gave him the map, gave him the game. Okay, well, if he's not going to do anything, then he doesn't have the game. Um, drew another young wolf. It's not very good, but not very good for me, I guess. So I guess he can block the Nettle Sentinel, block the Young Wolf, and then die, unless he has a snap. Well, we're going for the win here, so we're going to hunger up this dude. If he tries to snap it, then I bind the vast wood and kill him. Is he just dead? I think he's just dead. <coughs> like I said, he can go for the snap. If he had, goes for the snap, then I bind the vast wood to kill. <clears throat> going for something here. If he ghostly flickers his cloud of fairies and mole drifter, then I vines his cloud of fairies. No, he's ghostly flickering his glimmer posts. Uh, that means he gains four life, so I'm just going to vines one of my dudes and kill him. <clears throat> Is that right? Yeah, he gains four life, so I just vines one of my dudes and he dies. Alright, I'll game one down, even though that was, that's, I think this is not actually a very good matchup for me. Um, hmm. So that being said, the Hunger of the Howl Packs come out. Just straight up, they come out. Um, yeah, they're not very good against him. So what is good against him? I think Scattershot Archers are pretty are okay against him to kill the Clouds of Fairies. I do still like Gather Courage as a free way to kill stuff. But it's possibly weaker than just Scattershot Archers. Yeah, I think the Scattershot Archers is probably just a little bit better to kill off this Clouds of Fairies. Than Gather Courage, I should say. So... We'll go with that plan. Alright, well this seems like an okay hand. Once again, I don't have any trample effects, so this could be rough. But if he's mulling to five, he's going to have a hard time against me. Especially since I'm opening with two Nettle Sentinels and Groundswell. Yeah, he might have a rough time against me. Although, if he's opening with two cloud posts, maybe he won't have a rough time against me. But <laughs> I drew another ground swell, so. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and. I think just. Nettle Sentinel. Um, gather Courage, the next, the first Nettle Sentinel. And then ground swell, the other one. 
Yeah. This gets him down to an absurdly low life total. And then I can actually just straight kill him next turn, I think. If he doesn't do anything. If he plays a... I guess if he plays a Glimmer Post, he gets to live. Okay, he does get to, li he does get to live. <laughs> well, that's sort of what I was afraid of. So yeah, we're going to go for the kill here. Well, I'm not going to go for the kill. We're going to go for the Groundswell. <coughs> and then attack for eight. And then Vines of Vastwood after attackers. This gets him down to three life. It means he has to do something next turn. If he hadn't played the Glimmer Post, that would have been like a turn three kill, which would have been sick. still does not have any colored mana, so... Oh, well, now he does. So he can still fissure me here. But fissure is the only way he gets out of this. Or oh, we're playing some chumpers. <laughs> Another glimmer post. That's so annoying. Uh, Young Wolf is not a very good card to draw here. We're going to attack with these dudes. Get him down to three again. Unfortunately, did not have the counter spell. I think I'm just going to play this land out. Like That could be wrong play, but it, I think it just gives him more stuff to fissure when he finally decides to fissure. So, I think that's what I'm going for. Alright, yeah, another Chancery, so now he can actually play a Cloud of Fairies and untap the Chancery. Yeah, he snaps an Elf Sentinel, okay. If he snaps something else, I'm in bad shape. Ugh, another snap. Well, he's using them, def them defensively at least. I can still kill him if I draw a Pump, but I didn't, so... We're just going to attack with the Young Wolf, bring him down to two again. Play out both these Nettle Sentinels. I know he has another Glimmer Post in hand, so he's going back up to seven. I think I'm going to save the forest for uh, Groundswell. Bad Wolf. Oh my fucking god. The TV is really loud, I'm sorry. Oh, Shinnin, why are you so bad? So, attack. He goes down to one. I'll play the Shinnin. Uh, I thought I'm yielding to them. Always yes. Oh no, he bounced him back to my hand. Always yield. And we'll play the forest again. So now, once again, he has to do something to live. And is something better involved fissuring off? Or else he doesn't live. He's fissuring his own prism. Alright, I, I think I'm in really good shape then. Oh my god. Can you stop gaining life now? And it goes up to nine. Once again, I need a pump spell. Uh, 
Korean Ranger does not count as a pump spell. All right, well, let's once again attack him. I think I've dealt, uh, I don't know, 50 damage to him this game. So I'll play the Korean Ranger. And untap the Shinnin. Replay the forest. There he goes up to seven. This time I can actually kill him without a uh, pump spell. And once again, I can't actually cannot kill them without a pump spell. All right, there's a pump spell. Thank God. Yeah, we're gonna undo that. Just bounce the land back to my hand. And bash. He has to block the Shinnin. And we grass well for victory. Alright. Finally. 